once again a very warm welcome to animated review today we'll be talking about the racking record of an indoor circuit breaker as well as the shutter movement we'll be looking forward to uh, we'll be eager to see the movement of the shutter as the shutter mechanism installed completely inside the bus bar chamber so it is not visible from the outside it will only be visible when we'll be going for the maintenance or for an erection job so uh, we, without any further delay let's start hum log shuru karne ja rahe hain breaker ke rack in rack out operation aur uh, shutter operation ke bare mein usse pehle main bata dena chahta hu ki today we'll be talking about completely on the siemens make 33 kb indoor circuit breaker a vacuum circuit breaker most precisely it's a vacuum circuit breaker indoor trolley mounted siemens make video shuru karne se pehle bata dena chahta hu ki the shaft Visible on the screen, it is marked. ये जो shaft है, that is called rack in rack out shaft. This is called rack in rack out shaft. From here, you will be allowed to enter a handle, a lever basically. You will be rotating the handle clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, depending on the position of the circuit breaker. Means if you want to rack in the circuit breaker, then you have to move the handle in clock in means clockwise direction. And in case you desire to rack out the circuit breaker then you have to move the handle in clock reverse clock direction now the interlock between <coughs> the handle and the breaker position is the key the key is installed for defining the interlock position of the circuit breaker and the handle movement if you are trying to switch on the circuit breaker in a half closing condition then the key will be obstructing the movement of the shaft to enable the switch on condition now if we have precisely and perfectly racked in the circuit breaker then the key will get removed and you will be allowed to uh, remove the handle as well and switch on the circuit breaker or switch off the circuit breaker as well means any intermediate position will be pro pro prohibited and is taken care by the manufacturing department of the manufacturer and it is basically an operator friendly and operator safety aspect from operator safety aspect is very necessary to prohibit such intermediate operation as it's very dangerous to switch on the circuit breaker in half closing operation now we'll be demonstrating the uh, racking operation of the circuit breaker you'll be seeing the person is moving the the person is moving the handle the breaker is in racking condition the breaker is in it is in racking condition it is completely touching the bus bar and by moving the handle will be detaching the circuit breaker from the bus bar now uh, the person is moving the handle in anti clockwise direction and the breaker is coming out from the bus bar chamber if the breaker has completely taken out then a test indication then you will call the position as test position the breaker is in test position it is a test and if in the case of complete rack in condition will be termed as service condition the position will be termed as service condition now the matter of difference is that the rotation of the handle the rotation of the handle must be in clock in direction so that the breaker takes the shaft apart from the bus bar it will be going inside towards the bus bar basically and will be connecting the upper contact and the lower contact by the shutter mechanism now we'll be moving forward for the shutter mechanism to demonstrate the shutter mechanism uh, i'll be opening a video now this one is the video for the shutter operation this is the shutter this one is the shutter this is moving upward i will be interrupting this pole is upper pole this is upper pole and this is lower pole and the connector you are seeing inside that is the upper connector this is the upper connector and this is the lower connector this is the breaker pole this is the upper tulip and this is the lower tulip this tulip is going to be fixed inside the upper contact 
and the lower tulip is going to fix to the lower contact as well. Until as the contact is perfect, means the contact rest is least, then you will not be allowed to rack out the handle. You will not be allowed to pull out the handle basically and the key as well. You will not be allowed to switch on the circuit breaker moreover. The shutter operation is basically given to protect the operator from any flashing or any flashover during the intermediate position of the breaker operation. So the shutter operation is very necessary and the shutter is moving with the shaft installed both of the side of the CV frame. Now look the video. This one is the breaker. We are basically now in this condition. We are basically uh, racking in the circuit breaker. The breaker is going inside. That's why the shuttle is moving in upward direction. Else, the shuttle would have gone to the lower position in the case. Means it's a vice versa condition. If we rack out the circuit breaker, then the shuttle will come down. And if in the case of racking in the circuit breaker, the shuttle will go up. Means you will go that the bus bar is opening and closing that means it is protecting the operator from any arcing uh, this up to this part will be again talking about the inside part of the breaker the second inside part the some queries were there in the first video as in the top of the right corner you are a link is being provided please go and watch the video and if you have any query in this video too, please let me know. Please comment in the comment section and let me know what are the problems. I will be discussing on the same on the next part. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with Unlimited Electrical.